Hello, welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. After five minutes, I see that most of you, most of you are back. All right, which means sit down, estaros quietos. Sit down, be still, pay attention. Recordaréis que la atención en inglés se paga, no se presta. Es un pago. In especie, I accept it también, but you can pay. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to Monica, my guest, whom I think you've met twice before. If you have been watching this program regularly, if you have been watching this program on a regular basis, that means that sure, surely you know Monica. Her English is almost perfect, which is a challenge for me. Un reto, pero me gustan los retos. But it's not easy for me to find ways to make her make mistakes. So maybe in the future I won't invite her back anymore. Mm. And I will say to Monica, I say, I'm sorry, Monica, but I need somebody here who can show the viewers what to avoid, all right? And uh, the only thing I notice about Monica is she doesn't speak with enough energy. She has a soft vocecita, <laughs> all right? And so I need to teach her, not English necessarily, but I need to teach her voice projection, voice inflection, okay? And decision and resolution in, in her speech to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here again with you, as always. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to take you into the dark forest of the English language, to hold you firmly by the hand, and to protect you from all the spirits, the bad, evil spirits, irregular verbs, phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, conjunctions. There are a lot of spirits in the forest, and I will protect you, and I will familiarize you with these potentially evil spirits, and you will learn that they are not so evil and you will learn that all these spirits in the dark forest of the English language are really helpers, ayudantes, who will help you articulate your speech in English and to make it fluent. Because fluency, la soltura, a la hora de hablar, fluency when speaking comes from two things, psychological self-confidence, not being afraid, not suffering stage fright, o sentido de ridículo, como dice aquí, and second, being able to articulate the structure of the language in such a way, de tal forma, fijaos como lo digo, to articulate the structure in such a way that you don't get tangled, enmarañado, enganchado, in the maleza y lianas gramaticales del idioma. Okay? Despejar el camino a través de la densa, espesa jungla, con un machete de primera. And that's Grammar. Grammar's function is to do that, okay? And if you know grammar well, basic grammar, not necessarily advanced grammar. If you know grammar well, you will do it. Okay. All right. The sermon is over. It's a short sermon today. Okay, Monica, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, it's good to have you back. Listen, voy a decir frases. I'm going to say sentences in Spanish, and you're going to say the equivalent in English. Okay. Huh? Y estas frases tienen tela. Okay. Okay. No puedo seguir el ritmo. Lo siento. I can't put up. No, put up is... Oh, a, no. oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't... I don't know. Okay, to put up with. To put yeah. up with is aguantar. Yeah. No aguanto. Uh, es muy difícil aguantar a Pepe. I can't put up with Pepe's attitude, con su actitud. To put up with means encajarlo, pero sin so, apenas so, soportarlo. Ahora, to keep up. Okay. No puedo seguir el ritmo. I can't keep up. You with. can't keep up. Am I going too fast? Yes, you are. All right, you can't keep up. If, do you want me to slow down the pace or to speed up the pace? To slow down the pace. Okay, until this, okay, me tienes que decir? Slow down the pace. All right, Please. or simply slow down. Okay. What's slow the down. opposite of to slow down? Speed up. Okay, good. Now, if you're in the passenger seat and I'm driving at 160 kilometers an hour, what do you say to me? Please slow down. All right. Now, if I'm driving only at 40 <laughs> kilometers an, an hour, what do you say? Could you please speed up? Okay, good. And if it's our first date and I try to kiss you, what do you say? Could you please slow down? Slow down? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Okay, slow yeah. down. All right. Very good. So, no puedo seguir el ritmo. I can't keep up. You can't keep up. Vas muy deprisa. No puedo seguir tu ritmo. You go too, too fast. You're going. You're going. You're going too fast. I can't keep up. Yeah. With you? Or? With you. Yes, if you can't keep up with somebody, it means estás quedando atrás. Mm -hmm. You are? Falling behind? You're falling behind. Okay. And if you're falling behind, 
you need to make a strong effort in order to do what? Um, I don't know. Okay, if you're in a class, for example, <coughs> if, you're, if you're 12 years old, 13 years old, and you're in Algebra Uno, mm -hmm. Algebra One, all right, in which you need to understand everything, and if you fall behind, if you miss two days of class because you're sick, or let's say you miss a week, okay. you have a fever, a temperature, and your mother and father, your mother keeps you, keeps you at home because you have a 39 degree fever, or Los Britannicos de Dian temperature program, a 39 degree temperature. And then when you go back, clearly you have fallen behind. What do you need to do? I don't remember. Okay, well, ask me what you need to do if you fall behind. What do you need to do if you fall behind? You need to catch up. Yes. Recuerda el ketchup. A ketchup. Ketchup. Yes. To catch up. Pero se hacen tu up. You need to catch up when you fall behind. Yes. And once you catch up, what do you need to do? To follow. To keep up. To, to keep up, yeah. Yeah. And if you're in a race, if you're racing, if you're running, if you're in the marathon, maraton, if you catch up, do you need, what do you need? To only to keep up? No. no? To go over and no. No, to go over, no. <laughs> okay, you need to move ahead. <coughs> move ahead, okay. Move ahead. Okay, move uh, ahead. And in, go into the lead, become the leader. Okay. okay. Have you ever won a race? Um, I don't know. I think I haven't. You've never won a race in your life? Come on. Running? Running, no. bicycle, any type of race? Horses? Have you ever been I in think a swimming. Swimming. I won once, yeah. You won a race. Did you win a trophy or a medal? A medal. Okay, ask me if I've ever won a race. Have you ever won a race? A lot of races, yeah. I was always running. I won a lot of races. Okay, question. Ask me if the Spanish people would defend Spain if it were attacked. Would Spanish people defend Spain if it were attacked? I think so, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, too. yeah. Going way back, way back, even to the year 110 B.C., when the Cimbrians from Denmark and the Teutons, they entered Spain. They came down from Denmark. Can you imagine? 200 or 300,000 people. And they crossed the Pyrenees and the different tribes of Spain, Los Bacteo, I can't remember the names of them. They gathered and they stopped, they stopped them. And there wasn't a battle. <coughs> the Cimbrians and the Teutons saw so many people said, well, let's go. <laughs> and they turned around and went back to France. Okay, so the next one. Uh, <clears throat> si no les alcanzas, ganarán la carrera. If you don't catch up with them, they will win the race. If you don't catch up with them, Monica, they will win the race. If you don't catch up with them. All right. Ask me if I have ever fallen behind in a race. Have you ever fallen behind in a, in a race? Yes, I have. Ask me if I have ever had to catch up. Have you ever had to catch up? Uh, yes, I have. All right. Once, I was running the third leg. We say la tercera pata o pierna in uh, un relevo. Mm -hmm. Cuatro por cuatrocientos. Four hundred, four by four hundred, the mile relay, and um, sixteen hundred meter relay. And I was the third leg. And when I received the baton, what you call el testigo, mm -hmm. or we say el, bat, la, la, el palo, baton, baton, uh -huh. oh, in French means palo. And in English, baton means um, lo que hace el mayoret. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a baton, but also it's a testigo in relevos. Cuatro por cien o cuatro por cuatrocientos. When I received the baton, I was in last place. Well, our team was in last place. And when I finished it, we were in first place. I had to pass five other runners. And that was one of the best races I've ever run. Okay, so I had to catch up. I had to catch up and pass, and then move ahead, all right? Not only keep up, but move ahead. Ask me how I felt when I finished that race. How did you feel when you finished that race? Dead. <laughs> 400 meters is a hard race. Okay. So, me caí al agua. I fall into the water. I fell into the water. Okay. Ask me how many times I have fallen into water dressed. How, how many times have you fallen into the water dressed? Only once. Yeah, my sister pushed me into the water. Asked me how old I was when she pushed me into the water. How old were you when she pushed, pushed you into the water? I was probably about 11. I think, I know I was, no, I was 10. I was 10. I was 10. Yeah, asked me if I got angry. Did you get angry? Yeah. Angry. Angry. Asked me if I tried to push her into the water. 
Did you try to push her into the water? Yes, I did. That's why I didn't manage to do it. Why didn't you manage to do it? My parents wouldn't let me. All right, she pushed me. Ask me if she pushed me into the water on purpose. Did she push you into the water on purpose? Yes, a proposito, a posta. Intentionally, <coughs> deliberately, on purpose. Intentionally, deliberately, on purpose, my sister pushed me into the water. Siempre decimos into. Yo no me caí al agua. Ella me empujó al agua. I didn't fall into the water. I didn't fall. Okay, fall. My sister pushed me into the water. All right. Ask me if I've ever pushed somebody into into the water. Have you ever pushed pushed somebody into the water? Oh yes, many times. Yes, but they were not dressed. It was okay. swimming. Okay. Now, ella entró en una depresión. She got into a de depression. She fell into she a. She fell. Okay. Igual que el agua. Okay. Caes, caes al agua, caes a una depresión. You fall into porque es una espiral okay. hacia abajo. Boragine. You go down and you fall into a depression. Ask me if I have ever fallen into a depression. Have you ever fallen into a depression? I fall into uh, many depressions every day. Ask me how long my depressions last. How long does do, do your depressions last? About 10 minutes. Okay. All right. City and recession is no depression. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I, I, I come out very quickly. I'm, I am by nature an optimist. Mm -hmm. One person compared me to a float. Do you know what a float is? No, I don't. Well, children, when they go swimming, sometimes they can't swim well, so their, mo their parents mm -hmm. put a float around okay. the stomach, you know, flotador. Flotador. Mm -hmm. okay, float. Now, if you take a float and you push it to the bottom of the swimming pool and then use your foot to hold it and maintain it at the bottom of the swimming pool and then whoop, you lose control, whoop, it comes back up. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> yep. I come back up. You can't keep me down. Do you understand? Uh -huh. All right. So I'm afloat. Okay. So, so ella entró en una depresión. She fell into a depression. Have you ever fallen into a depression? Mm, yes, I have. All right. Did it last a long time? Not too much. No. Didn't. Okay. Did you go to a psychiatrist? No, I didn't. Did you go to a psychologist? No, I didn't. So you just. Just got it out of your system. Mm -hmm. All right. Ask me if I'm, de I'm depressed today. Are you depressed today? No, I'm not. Good. Hmm? Are you depressed? No, today? I'm not. Are you depressed, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Are you depressed with your English? <laughs> Don't be depressed. Do something about it. Haced algo al respecto. Al respecto. Haced algo al respecto. Do something about it. Haz algo, amigo. Al respecto. Do something about it. If your English is not, per is not good, do something about it. Come on. Take the necessary steps to resolve the deficiency, if we want to say it technically. But the most common is do something about it. If you have a problem, do something about it. Solve it. Make an effort. OK, don't you agree? Yes, I do. All right. El niño cayó, se cayó del árbol. The boy fell from the tree. Good, correct. Probably would say out of the tree. Yeah, because no le ves, en la frondosidad del árbol, de okay. repente sale un chico, oh, pom, plum. Okay, he fell out of the tree. Okay. He fell from the first branch, mm -hmm. or the first limb. Limb is extremidad, miembro de un cuerpo, limb. These are my limbs, my arms, my legs are appendages. <laughs> All right, do you understand? Yes, I do. Or limb. How do you spell limb? L-I-M-B. L-I-M-B. Now, let's... You, on the tree, you have a trunk. Well, you have the roots. Mm -hmm. Underground, you have the roots. And the roots extract nutrients and water from the soil for the rest of the tree. And it goes up the trunk, out onto the limbs, and then the branches. Okay. So you see the limbs are like the major appendages. This would be a limb. My arm would be a limb, and my fingers the branches. Do you okay. understand? Yes. If I were a tree... Ask me if I have ever been a tree. Have you ever been a tree? Once I was a tree. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been a tree? No, I haven't. Ask me when I was a tree. When were you a tree? I was about nine, eight or nine years old in a school representation, a play, for Christmas, and I was a tree. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I had l the trunk, mm -hmm. the limbs, and the branches. Okay. okay? So if, a, if you see a tree and you can see a little boy sitting on a limb and say, <clears throat> Hello, Monica. <laughs> what are you doing on that limb? I'm sitting here. And suddenly he loses ba his balance and falls. You can say, in this case, he fell from the limb. 
Okay. He fell out of the tree. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Como si saliera del árbol. Okay. So it's cayendo. Okay. All right, to, to fall out. Because you can fly out of the tree, too. Peter Pan, if Peter Pan is sitting on the limb of a tree, okay, and suddenly he decides he's tired of sitting in that tree, and he just flies out of the tree, okay? But that's not, you don't usually see that, mm -hmm. all right? It's more common to see somebody to fall out of the tree. No te apoyes, no te apoyes en la mesa. Don't stand on the table. Stand is ponerse de pie. Okay, don't fall. Caer al por. <laughs> Don't Look, lean on the table. What am I doing? Leaning on the table. Good. All right. <laughs> yes, to lean on. Y si lo veo contra pared, to lean? On the wall. In no, the wall. Against the wall. Against the wall. Okay. Yes. Te apoyas o te, te inclinas. Okay. Uses la pared de apoyo. You're leaning against okay. the wall. Now I'm leaning oh. on oh. the table. Okay. Y no te asomes por la ventana? Don't lean out of the window. All right. Okay. It always says that on the trains. No te asomes por la ventana, because mm -hmm. you, can, you can lose your head. Yeah, it can happen. Mm -hmm. Ask if I know, know anybody who has lost a member sitting in a train. Do you know anybody that has lost a member sitting on a train? Yeah. No, I don't personally know the person. Okay. I, kn I had a student many years ago who was a military man. Mm -hmm. And one time he told me that he was in a train with other soldiers, other military people, and one soldier sitting on his left was next to the window, and he was, his arm was out, and um, at one moment, the soldier says, oh, my arm's bothering me. He brought it, it wasn't there. He had lost his arm. Something out, whew, had cut it outside, a, a telephone post or something, mm -hmm. and he had lost his arm, and it took him about five seconds. To realize. To just it's a strange feeling. <clears throat> My arm is bothering me. It was gone. All right. So uh, I recommend that you don't yeah. lean out the window or don't lean a, a part of your body out the window. Okay. What am I doing? You're leaning on the table. All right. I'm leaning on the table. Are you leaning on the table? Yes, I am. Good. Are you using your arms to support yourself or your body to support yourself? Both. No, you're using your arms to support okay. your body. Leaning on the table. Okay. All right. Okay. Apoyate en mí. Lean on me. Good. Okay. De hecho, se usa figurativamente mucho. Apoyate en mí. Te apoyaré. Mm -hmm. Lean on me. There's a song. Have you ever heard the song Lean on Me? No, I, I don't think so. I don't know the words. I don't know the lyrics, which means I'm not going to sing it. Okay. But it starts, lean on me when you're in trouble. Lean on me. I can't remember. Lean on me. Tendrás que escucharme hasta el final. You have, you have to listen to me. Until the end? Until the end. Listen, Monica, you're going, vas a tener que escucharme hasta el final. You're going to have to hear me out. Okay. To hear me out. Interesting expression. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to hear me out. So sit down. Keep your mouth shut. All right. Pay attention because I have something important to tell you. And it's something you need to know. And it's for your own good. You understand? Yes, I do. In español decís, well, para tu propio bien. Te lo voy a decir, para tu propio bien. In English decimos, bueno. It's for your own good. Okay? And I recommend that you follow my advice. Okay? So I want you to s sit still and to hear me out. Okay. Repeat. Quiero que estés quieta que te, que te y que me... me Escuches hasta el final. I want you to sit still and hear me out. Okay. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Are you going to listen to me carefully? Yes, I am. All right. Yo no tengo noticias de ella. I have no news about her. No, I haven't heard from her. Okay. Yes. I haven't heard from. Okay. Okay. Good. In the español hablas de noticias. Que es correcto. You, you, you can say, for example, um, Ines, my friend Ines, two years ago. Uh, went to South Africa, and she told me she would write me. Pero no tengo noticias de ella desde que se fue. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard from her. Así se dice mm -hmm. siempre. Se podría decir, I don't have any news, or I haven't received any news from her. Mm -hmm. Pero nadie lo dice. Okay? It's correct English, but we just say I haven't heard from her. Okay? okay? Ask me if I've heard from <coughs> my uh, uncle lately. 
Have you heard from your uncle lately? Yes, I have. From my uncle lately. Yes, I've heard from him. I've heard from my uncle lately. Ask me if I've heard from my sister lately. Have you heard for, from your sister lately? Well, it depends on your definition of lately. Yeah, I've heard from my sister lately. Ask me if I've heard from my wife lately. Have you heard from your wife lately? Well, there's a different definition of lately. Uh, we've spoken today <coughs> by email three or four times. Mm -hmm. Okay, But I haven't heard from her verbally except this morning when I said goodbye to her. And asked me if she said goodbye to me. Did she say goodbye to you? Yes, she did. She said, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> asked me if she was asleep when I left home. Was she asleep when you left home? Uh, no, she wasn't. Ask me why. Why wasn't she asleep? Because I woke her up. Yeah, ask me why I woke her up. Why did you wake her up? Good. Why did you wake her up? Wake her up. Wake, wake her up. Wake her up. Uh, to say goodbye. Ask me if I always wake her up to say goodbye. Do you always wake her up to say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Ask me if she's often deeply asleep. Is she often deeply asleep? Mm-hmm. Is, no sé si realmente decimos eso en inglés. Is she usually sleeping soundly or completely asleep? Yes, she's often sleeping soundly. Soundly no significa sonoramente ni sonadamente, significa profundamente. Sound. Sound is sonido. Mm -hmm. But sound also means uh, sano. Mm -hmm. In corpore sano, ¿cómo es? In corpore sano, mente, I can't remember. Mente sana, cuerpo sano. Yeah, it's a Latin expression. And we say sound, sound in body and in mind. Mm -hmm. Se sano in cuerpo y en mente, se dice en inglés, pero se usa. No, healthy, que también es sano y saludable, healthy. Sound, in body and in mind. Ask me if I'm sound in body and in mind. Are you sound in body and in mind? Body, yes, in mind, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Ask me how much time we have left. How much time do, do we have left? No me gusta la entonación. How much time do we have left? Good, three minutes, okay. So, no tengo noticias de ella. I have no. Uh, I haven't heard about uh, from her. I haven't heard from her. No. Okay. I haven't heard from her. No sé nada de ella. Okay. I haven't heard from her. I haven't heard <coughs> about her. Means no. No tengo noticias mm -hmm. sobre sus aventuras. O sea, it's more about acerca de ella. Nunca he oído hablar de Paco Morgan. ¿Quién es? I've never heard about Paco. Oh. Nunca he oído hablar de Paco Morgan. ¿Quién es? I've never heard of. Of. Okay. I haven't, look, <coughs> de hecho no se puede decir en inglés, I've never heard from her. Se dice, I haven't heard from her. Okay. Porque no es never, escritora. I've never heard of. Si, si yo te digo, te digo, um, Dag Hammarskjöld. Have, you know, did, do you know the story about Dag Hammarskjöld? Dag, ha Dag Hammarskjöld, come on, Dag Hammarskjöld. No, I don't. Well, do, do you know who he is? No, I don't. Have you ever heard of him? No, I haven't. Repeat, I've never heard of him. I've never heard of him. Quiere decir que ese nombre ni te suena. Mm -hmm. Dag Hammarskjöld was the Secretary General of the United Nations mm -hmm. in the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, he was uh, Dag, he was um, Swedish. All right, he was a very good Secretary General. And uh, he was, he died in a plane crash in the Congo. El Congo Belga en aquel entonces, the Belgian Congo. Uh, during a period of a lot of uh, instability in Africa. And he was in a small plane with other dignitaries, and the plane went down and crashed. Mm -hmm. He died, and the others were killed as, as well. And some people still, t it's, it has never been proven, uh, but some people think that it was shot down. How do you say fue derribado? Sh to be shot down. To be shot. Shot is cerrar la puerta. Shot. 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 And some people think it was shot down. Okay, that's Dag. But you've never heard of Dag Hammarskjöld? No, I haven't. All right, Dag Hammarskjöld. Uh, 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 have you ever heard of Davy Crockett? Y in a song. Okay, okay. Have you ever heard of Daniel Boone? No, I have. I've never heard of Daniel Boone. All right, a pioneer and frontiersman in the United States. Have you ever heard of Richard Vaughn? That's me, <laughs> which means my job is to teach English. Uh, but I have to stop teaching now for a few seconds, for a few minutes, and I'll be right back in five minutes. So uh, stay close to the TV. Don't go too far away. Thank you. Yeah.